What's up? Going back in. Eden 158. Let's do it. We got the spin to win. We have a rune bag and bad health. Really bad health. I will be taking Tammy's head. Thank you. Hopefully we can get some health so that we can go deal with the devil and we can get some brimstone. Brimstone is the dream here. What if does plan C like Damocles? I don't understand the question. Can you uh, ask that again? Death animation's too long. The death animation takes seven years. You will die. I'll go for a stopwatch. That sounds delicious. I also want the health. I might end up bombing my machine again. Money? Nice soul heart drop. Nine volt would be pretty sweet. Last rags only room in room respawn. Plan C kills the beast. The ending animation kicks in before you die. Am I thinking of Plan C beast and not Plan C delirium? I thought that was like a fun slay video or a short where it was like fun ways to kill delirium. I thought Plan C was in there. Cashmere, 12 months. Hi, it's nice to see you. I, I can catch you on Thursday now. Hee hee hee. Quick question. Will you play Blasphemous 2? Is that new? Blasphemous 1 in my library. Blasphemous 2. It's coming out. It's not out yet. I never played the first one. What's the rating on the first one? Blasphemous. Penitent one. Ninety percent. Freaking trash. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't say it's necessarily my 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 thing, but uh, I did buy it when it was on sale. I think. Yeah, it just came out. Shouldn't there be reviews then? Or you mean like within the last five minutes? Since when is percent review showing how good or bad a game is, says Nicosia? That's the joke. But I am also uh, reviewing overwhelmingly positive games to see if it's true that they are good games. Yeesh. Yeesh. Oof. But yeah, you know, overall, the idea of rating a game and having it be positively rated is is a, yeah, it's a, a definitely a way, you know, besides some sort of uh, corruption, paying for reviews and or paying to remove reviews, which we all know happens. That bullshit does happen. It is, in essence, a way to tell how good a game is. Kind of the point of it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this is the secret room. There was a molly boom on the the floor bottom left too, which is another hint. Should have just gone here. You just stretched to my gut. Level one eBay seller refunds me to remove my bad review. Well, we can buy the. Soul heart. We dropped both of our bombs off, unfortunately, so we won't be able to bomb our machine for stopwatch. Probably should have just kept the bomb and done that anyways, instead of guessing for secret room. In a dumb spot. I mean, the game's been really, really tricksy lately with the secret rooms, so maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm reading into it. Overwatch 2 getting destroyed on stream. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are like, I don't think it deserves that. And then there were other people that were like, hey, remember that shitty stuff that they did? 
like when Overwatch 2 was like, yo, we're going to come out with Overwatch 2 and it's mainly just strictly going to be because we want to do this PvE stuff that's going to be amazing and advance the storyline and like build on all these really cool cutscenes that we have and the lore that's basically the driving force of all of this. And then they ended up shifting to this pay to play thing with uh, and making you do uh, you basically have to, to pay like sure it's it's free to play. But uh, you have to pay money now in order to get these battle passes to get the, the heroes, which you kind of need for, like, I don't know, team comp. Then they scrapped the PvE from under us. I don't, I'm not sure they even plan to do it in the first place, ever. Anyways. Just, uh, like, actually, like... I was also like I was reading some stuff and people were like I don't think it's that bad it's free to play now and it's nice and I'm like oh, I could see that that point and then I read another comment that was like let's review all the shitty things that they've done and I was like ah yeah oh those are also good points we did not buy the soul heart by the way I have health and uh, we're gonna get an arcade instead let's not miss out on any good opportunities of the shop money probably not any game devs are doing this the new character literally is in the wrong category i love how overwatch 2 says critically acclaimed above its negative 10 percent positive reviews negative 10 wow overwhelmingly negative yeah I got an anus. You know, let's just use it. But I missed to just spend an hour talking to my brother about Baldur's Gate 3. If you guys like Overwatch 2 and you still want to play Overwatch 2, go for it. I, I don't really care. I gotta be honest. I don't. I have, uh, bigger things. Bigger fish to fry. No one likes saying... There's many ways to skin a cat. Nobody likes that phrase anymore, right? Because they're like, that's mean against cats. But when you say I've got bigger fish to fry, no one bats an eye. Just because you guys think that fish are soulless. I mean, there was research done and it came out that goldfish have longer than five second memory. Okay. Goldfish are legit. It knows that you're treating it like shit when it blankly stares at you through the, the aquarium. Treat your fish better. Essentially, what I'm trying to say, you sickos. Speciesism, yay! I hate it. I don't have another competitive game to play right now. Yeah, no, it, it, it's like a thing. And it like, you know, it, it fills its purpose. And, and it being free to play is cool, sort of. My thoughts on it is that you end up having these really expensive games that are getting more and more expensive, and then one game's like, yo, dude, I'm gonna try this free-to-play model, and it, it fucking kills, right? And then it seems like it's a good thing. Of course, they still have ways to spend money and blah, 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 but no one cares because everyone's super hyped about this game being free-to-play, and so everyone plays it. And then later on, all these other companies are like, hmm, I will also do that because I see how much money they're making. And we'll make it more about making money than having a game be free to play. Someone wants to pull the Netflix move? Yeah. I mean, even Netflix ruined the Netflix thing. I got Ares so I can ram people if I really wanted to. I might end up doing it right here. Okay. As I wasn't moving fast enough. Ah, 
How do you feel about game piracy? So anyways, playing this game. I've watched that microtransactions on top of microtransactions to begin with. The original? Which one? Uh. Oh. I'll buy the bomb. I can even buy the sack to try to get another bomb. Loot boxes? Yeah, loot box system. Oh, gotcha thing. I don't know. I don't know, but then again, like, I'm playing a game, for example, like Genshin, and I'm like, whatever, I'm not even bothered by the loot box system. The gotcha. It's like, I I'm able to grind up, you know, within one play session, I can get enough whatever things to get one, it's not that big of a deal. And it's not a competitive game, so... But yeah, in a competitive game... Of course, they're just skins and shit. Right? That's a whole nother layer. Do you play Genshin Huts? I... I do play Genshin. Jamie and I just showed it to her younger sisters, so we were playing that together because I think it's a pretty decent co-op experience. But yeah, I mean, you can't just get, you, you can't go beyond the whole, like, I don't know why they have to sexualize children. I, you know, I, whatever. Like, it's... That part of it bothers me every time I play. I want, like, a more... I was gonna say adult version, but not really, because it already is adult, because of the, yeah. That, that whole thing just, it makes me really uncomfortable. It's like, you're like, I, I want to play this character, but I swear to God that I'm not intentionally running in such a way. Like, Jamie's over there like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just running. And it's like, just straight up upskirting like a 14-year-old girl. And you're like, I don't, what do you want me to do? I have to climb this mountain, okay? Look. Look! Not a 13-year-old girl, she's a 3,000-year-old dragon, you sicko. Elmo, eight months, what's up? It even has jizzle, jizzle figgits. J jiggle physics. Play the game and tell me that they're not intentionally trying to get you to stare up the skirt of a minor. Tell me. To tell me to my face! Well, it wouldn't be a problem if you weren't the one looking. So you're blaming the girls for what they're wearing. No, I'm blaming the... the <laughs> people, most likely men, that made the damn thing. What the hell are we on about now? Anyways, oh boy, a damage upgrade. Uh, we still want to go try for Brimstone. It would put us in kind of a precarious situation, but Brimstone would be chef's kiss. We are low enough that otherwise I would probably just try to go Angel. I don't know. They need to add big pants mode to Genshin like they did with pseudo regalia. WTF is chat on. And you've convinced me to never play this game. Thanks, Dad. Genshin, yikes. I just, I think the game itself is beautiful. And the fact that it's co-op, like seamlessly co-op, is super cool. There's one problem, and that's the fact that when you're playing co-op with somebody, they can't interact with like 87% of the things in your world, and you can't do like 70% of the missions that you want to do. You basically just have to fuck around and explore, and know that the person that you're joining is going to be getting all of the stuff. But you do get to keep your character levels and stuff, so that's like a cool thing. But yeah, no, like if I could just change the models to make it just like not sexualize a 14 year old, like I don't, like I don't need to look up Barb's skirt when I'm trying to just float over to this island. 
that's not a necessary thing for me to experience. Co-op in Genshin is cool for only exploration. All right, let's... Ah, man. Brimstone was so good. What are the odds that we're going to get Brimstone? We could still get Brimstone later, right? Even if we got an angel first. We should, we should take care of us here and now. Know that it's very unlikely we're going to get a Brimstone. And play it safe. Peak at least. I have no, no problem. Not a problem. If you want to make somebody or some game sexy. I have no problem playing a game where there are children as characters. I just have a problem when you are intentionally lusting over children. It just, it doesn't... I'm not worried about myself, right? I'm not like, oh, I'm going to become a pedo, so I can't look at this. I'm just like thinking like, how many people are absorbing this content and then being like, man. man. The, the answer is a lot, a lot of people. Never lick your lips like that again. Okay. Um, I like mapping. We like map. I'm gonna blow this up, but is that the right move? We could wait on it. You ever complain about Isaac having a sexy feed out 24-7? Yeah, FBI? Mm-hmm. You saw it too. You, okay, you're already on your way. Okay. Yep. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why they said I love you. I mean, I just felt I I was obligated to say it back. I love how you zeroed in on Isaac's sexy feet. When we could just point out the fact that it's a five-year-old that's naked. Is it five or is it four? I think it's five, right? Not to say, like, naked kids is whatever. I honestly don't give a shit. Right? Unless you are actively sexualizing it. If I go over to my friend's house and they have a kid and they're, like, taking a bath or something and they run out of the room, I'm not gonna be like, Ah! <laughs> Look at you, Seg. Sisters and grandmas. Anyways. Maybe we can steer the topic away from naked children. Chad, what do you think? Should we give it a go? You brave enough? Oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. We can try. Oh my god, you're a liar. How about that sexy goat? Oh yeah, I'd run train on that goat. Totally different. You saw them booty cheeks. This is a win for sure. Half a solar for a bomb. Is that worth it? Not a furry, but 20 bucks is 20. I mean, no. Other oh, saying. Floofy was 64 months. Hi, hi, dad. Ah, oh, nice. Last room, golden key. 
Heck yeah. What's on the schedule for today? Well, a lot of talks about shit that no one wants to hear. I'm a furry, and that Sybil's got that booty. I don't understand what the first part, why that was necessary for the rest of it. Are you telling me that non-furries shouldn't think that? I might, I might blow and, and, and go. Like that. What did we just re-roll through though? Was that habit that I just saw? Habit could have been nice. Um, one more is potentially, I don't know if little monster counts, but he probably counts. One more is conjoined. And I, I, I honestly don't want that right now. I don't want to damage down. It's going to affect my Tammy as well. Tammy, Tammy, Bobammy. Ah, let's just let that bomb go. I'm gonna try to do QT things. I could open up that too. I just. Ugh. Sex talk about goats. We'd be, least, we'd be stupidly stupid with the topics. Yeah, we'll be tearing things down eventually. Tearing down this idea of free-to-play games and non-sexy goats. That is a range upgrade. Very not excited about that. I want to eat something salty. I only have sweets and, um, and hyper-hot Doritos. Chat, this is when you say, I've got something salty for you. These nuts. And you skipped the first part. Alright. Bweep! You best be bweeping me, dog. Our frickin' luck with good items in that machine, but then it taking like 75 years to pay out. Are you gonna play Blasphemous too? Probably not. Let's be honest. Never played the first one, despite the fact that I own it. It does not bode well for the second. Drowsy's good. Oh, we got bomb flies, therefore secret room. Me, 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 me. Abel, don't you shoot them. Abel, hey, buddy. Oh my goodness. Bombing into here, but I need the money. Ah, uh, we'll come back. My body is a machine that turns Steam games into unplayed games. D100? Let's throw away everything that we just built. Gosh, you know what would be really good right now? Conjoined. Soul of Azazel. Great Egyptian prince. Oh, you did not not get blasted in the ass by a little monstro buddy. Liar. Don't really need to bomb the nickel face guy anymore, really. I could maybe bomb into my shop, but that seems silly. I could bomb this. Excellent. 
just gonna charge up and not really worry about my monstro. It's kind of getting me in trouble. Yeah, it's nice to know where the secret rooms are, I suppose. Stream is dead, man. Shot speed machine too high. Shot speed machine? Need less shot speed, but stream is fine, yeah. I uh, I mean, I, the run is pretty winnable now. All in all. I have too many complaints. Son of a bitch. They completely pinched me. Rock, meet hard place. Good spot for those. Thank you. Hagen Dawes ice cream. Or where would I use you? Could you use it there. Could you use it here? Get some shot speed down pills and a magic mush. Bombs. Keep shot speed up. Game listens so well, you guys. Fuck you! Liar! Anyways, gotta go. Mini boss. More like shit. Bird, but I take bombing in the curse room. That's nice. More chances for magic mush. Love that. That's poop. Soul of bum 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 bum. bum. Luck up. Luck nice. Up. Tammy doesn't work with Tech X. What's the point of the item even? Tech X? I know. Just throw it away. Throw the whole item away. You trash. Have you guys ever seen those people on Facebook and other places that make the stupid food where it's like some some supposedly some man and woman that are like married in their own kitchen and she's like oh this is gonna be so good I make this for the boys all the time and then she ends up like making the most disgusting piece of shit that you've ever seen in your entire freaking life it's like the worst creation and her husband's behind the camera going oh that looks so good oh yes oh i'm coming you know that we should we can mess with moving box bro what just tell me if you've seen the video or not chat i'm not asking for commentary okay it's a yes or no question anyways Jamie and I were thinking about doing a segment where, because I know you guys want to cooking streams, it could be really funny to take those like super completely overrated bullshit cooking things and recreate it either just like as is or recreating them in a way that might actually be good. 
Yes, on Reddit. Yeah, our stupid food. I've seen too many of these videos, but also a dude reacting to the stuff, telling them to go to hell, or just insults the food. Yeah, it's, I feel like they're working together, right? They're making money by making stupid food, and then they pay somebody to give it a stupid review, and then they're like, that's actually the husband. Man, there's a lot of good stuff I want in here. I just don't know. Chat, what, do, should I go moving box or should I just take the soul heart and the card? We have a YouTuber in France that does, does exactly that. He takes some of USA TikTok recipes and tries them. Most of them are disgusting. Most of them, I would say like 99.999999. They're not even making this food chat because they actually believe it's good. It's for the trigger value. Okay, that is the only purpose of why they make these videos. They know it's fucking stupid. Epic Whip Nene, Sexy Tier 2 Sub, 11 months. Welcome back. They know. Okay. Soul Heart and Card. A lot of people just want the Soul Heart and the Card. May nothing walk past you. It makes me a stone. Um, Drowsy's pretty good too. Let's blow this guy up over here. Jump in the cack just to get this man on it. Most of them, yeah, some are weird but work somehow. I don't know, some people can't cook for shit, I know, and then they have like a cooking show. Yeah, right. It's just, it's... They're probably like pretty decent cooks that, once again, they just know that they're gonna make you... That you're gonna watch the video because of how ridiculous it is. They're making money from triggering you. And then in the end, they either don't eat it and pretend to eat it, or they bite into it and they're like, Oh, cut, cut, fucking cut! Vomit. Blood. Soul of Bethany. You underestimate the amount of people that are just delusional. No, I think that, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, you've says blah blah blah, something about US politics shows me that, but whatever. Moving on. Oh, I know. I don't think the people making the videos are delusional, though. I think it's very planned out. The people watching and enjoying them, sure. Here's the tower, okay. Take one bite, look into the camera, and say how good it is, and then throw it away. That's exactly what they do. Have you seen these people that, like, clean up the beaches, too? And they do the thing where... They put all the trash into garbage bags... And then they leave the garbage bags and walk away after the video's done? I'm such a good person. Let's just save a key. The star. It hurts. Tears up every time we take damage. Now I'm hungry, even if I'm not supposed to be. Mr. Best? Does Mr. Mr. Beast do that? Chad, are, are you for or against Mr. Beast? Because doesn't he actually do some really cool stuff? People just don't like his face. People are like, I don't know, man. I just feel like he's soulless. Like, sure, he's making money by helping people, but at the end of the day, isn't that a kind of a cool thing? Because it's about helping people. He could be making money, stealing money from you. Making a free-to-play game. Answers. If he grew a beard, I would be pro-beast. Me, 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 me. Yeah, it's kind of a waste to even use my Tammy's head now. Which is quite interesting to feel that way. I'm gonna go buy the moving box, I think. Neener, neener, nee. Oops. 
We have a uh, rune bag, so the chance that we'll get a per throw, you know, it's it's up there. We'll take moving bag, we'll package it up. I don't really want the card in there with it though, so... I could save the Tammy in case I ended up getting Brimstone one day. It's whatever. I kind of want to just package up items, not consumables. So I think if there's limited space... You will get Brimstone next floor. Why is there no Mr. Beast in my country? Just 5k to wipe my tears. Doesn't he do stuff like all over though? Or is Mr. Beast only doing videos in the US? Booster pack. World. Magician. Two hearts. Reverse justice. Let's take that. Shieldy shield. I'm still pretty low in health. I'm gonna just stick with the angel thing. Y'all want entertaining cooking. That's so... Actually good food. And that's what I reckon is the king. Nats? That's an effing legend. Just buttered here. What's in the box? Uh, we just grabbed... A thing. Troop to whoop in the box. Unless that was a seven reference. What's in the box? Has there seen that movie? What's your favorite fast food place? Might be Raising Cane's. An interesting day for reverse bullet hells. Vampire survivors got local co-op and Hollow Cure finally came out on Steam and it's really good. What is this hollow cure thing? Hollow cure, save the fans. Overwhelmingly positive, 99% action roguelike. Oh, it it's just based off of hollow live. Okay, so it's completely driven by fans. So whether or not it's a good game, we'll never know because it's going to be upvoted because it's got references to their favorite content they're obsessed with. Okay. Got it. Because honestly, the, at first look, I don't know if I would, would even play this free to play. <laughs> Should we play it? Should we try it out? Should we give it a chance? I've played it. It's good. It looks like a good game, though. Yeah, why not? Can it beat Goobies? Nothing can beat Goobies, okay? Stop living in your fantasy world. You're hurting everyone around you. Wake up. Zax on Galaxian with 100 bits. They can't charge for it because it's a fan game. They have permission to work on it so long as it's free. Are there in-game purchases, though? How free to play? Are there loot boxes? Is it a gotcha? None. I'm not actually serious. The, this is joke. We're just shooting the shit. No need to yell. Contents of our box grows. Um, curse room, item room, shop. Yeah. For F's sake, call them either Reverse Bullet Hell or Bullet Heavens. Do not call it Survivor-like, as we already have Survivor games in Survival Genre.
me 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 rip fire rate but this will be fun you know you can decide not to charge it up all the way you still need to get what like two-thirds or one-third charge though to even send it first throw with this reverse justice as well probably just hang on to the reverse justice until we get a per throw as well put the two together and we'll get even more stuff for butt's sake cuts butt for god's butt survivor and survival are pretty easy to differentiate as words says chat in defiance What's a game, chat, that everyone seems to love, but you can't frickin' stand? <laughs> Rust, Witcher 3. Grand Theft Auto. Goobies. Genshin. DVD, Dead by Daylight. Fortnite, Fallout, Battle Royale, Battle Battle Royalties. Not the Royales, but the Royalties in Crude from. It's probably just worth adding to the box. Right. We'll get another charge, and I'll be back. Any sports games, League of Legends, Tainted Jacob game. Oh, he's speedy. Soul of Cain as well, where would we pop that? I'm liking the look of this over here. We don't have a room there though. It's interesting, why wouldn't we have a room there? Kind of that, like, gobbledygook of corners right there could be a good spot. Right over here. We could use it in the extra large room because it might give us even more doors than this spot. So if we pop over here into this area, pop it here. Let's see, three doors, three rooms, four rooms already. Not one there, apparently. Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4. Any game that you don't like cuts? Ready to unsub, Kappa. Um... That everyone likes that I can't seem to like, or I can't even, like, empathize with people that like it. I'm sure there is. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head, though. Soul of Cain. That's, it was in the gobbledygook of corners. That's exactly where it was, chat. Son of a bitch, chat. Not my favorite, chat. Could try to grab that, but I don't know if there's enough rooms to do all of the things that I need to do. So let's just play it safe and grab the stuff in the shop and go. Spelunky. I, I can empathize why people enjoy it. I just think that they're lesser people. You know what I mean? Like, there's a difference there. I actually want to see if I can afford that ventricle razor as well. Three more rooms. Yeah, let's let's get uh, see if that those pay out with money. Nice. Borderlands also on that list. I played so much of the first Borderlands. That co-op, I mean, that was that was really cool. That was really fun. Blow up some of these skulls. 
Reverse Wheel of Fortune. If I recall what that does, it... Uses a random dice room. Yeah, Reverse Justice as well. Borderlands 2 will forever have a place in my heart. You know, I, I just never played Borderlands 2. And uh, it just was bad timing. It was bad timing for me. I think it was like, what, I was like getting out of college and everyone was trying to like work really hard to get a job and stuff and living on their own for the first time ever and I didn't have roommates. Dice room, use it. Your face, shut it. I, I couldn't charge up fast enough there. First one is boring, the second Borderlands is superior as Jams plays. You say that like you weren't around or old enough to play the first one when it came out. Like someone that plays Pokemon now that's like, I don't like Pokemon Red. And it's like, bitch, you shut your hell and mouth up. You know how much time I spent playing Pokemon Red and Blue? I'm 26. Well, did you play the first one when it came out? That's what I said. A child. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> At least one hour. I played the shit out of the first Borderlands. And it was, it was awesome. It was super good. When you're living in a house full of other people that play video games. We played the shit out of it. I bought Halo too. I bought, that's a Halo also. Not specifically Halo 2. Um, I could try to go get those sacks. I might, I might do it. Pretty low in consumables. Tried to cut the corner. Can't do that. All right, here we go. Necro 2. We got all of our stuff packed up. I'm ready. Both good in different ways. The original Borderlands definitely has more serious tone. Nothing too distracting. Borderlands 2 has some nice quality of life changes. Probably one of the best villains in any game. People say that. Handsome Jack. Uh, I don't know anything about Handsome Jack. Briefly ended up playing it as a Patreon reward. But I have to say, it's very, 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 very distracting Soul. trying to play a new game that you've never played before while you literally have people that have put so many hours into it. They're like, you need to do this, and then you gotta go do this. No, 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 put that down. You want to use this weapon? Go do this. Now you gotta do this. Just forget about that. We're gonna skip these quests. We're gonna jump right into this. Skip this cutscene. And it's like, ah, and then they're like talking and like, ah, I'm not saying I have any issue with those people, right? Those people are great. Those great people are great, but I didn't get to experience Borderlands 2. Like, at all. You got Sword and Shield, baby. That should be some sort of... I don't know. Transformation. Handsome Jack convinced himself he was the hero. So, like, you could, like, level with him a little bit, or...? In your opinion, what item will guarantee you a win every time you pick it up? Abel, next question. Shard of glass. Love it. Probably Sci-Fly? I don't know. Brimstone? Just waiting on that Perthrow drop here. Uh, waiting. Obviously, death certificate.
So now when I hear that question, what I think is like, what one item could carry you through the entire game with no other items involved? So obviously something like rock bottom would not be on that list because it by itself is trash, but you might just be saying like there's a normal run after that. I don't know. Weird question. Retro. Rito. I want to intentionally play a well-known game wrong as a faux first playthrough and see how the hardcore fans would get in chat. That is totally what I did when I played Hearthstone. Mm, see, I don't want to drop this and, and have them be in my way. But this is one way to get that item out of that pocket is by using the moving box. You can pick it up. Yeah, remember when I was intentionally playing Hearthstone wrong just to trigger people in the chat? Boy, howdy, did that work. Wink, wink. Got you guys so good. I want a lot of shiny rock? No. God, wait, I've got the... Hey, listen. That was a funny bit. Played Hearthstone. Yeah, never again, though. It's so hard to get into a card game, especially when it's not a video game. Like, the buy-in to get into Magic the Gathering, I just, like, I don't... Uh, <laughs> Okay. You played Hearthstone, but really you were playing chat, huh? It got so toxic that I decided to never play it ever again. Because I, I really did not have a fun time having people, especially people that were have been around for a long time, basically saying I'm a moron. That hurts more than just someone coming in and trolling. Like somebody that I recognize, someone that's been here and very supportive for a very long time, all of a sudden being like, you're an idiot. Why did you play that card? You don't want to ever have a build with this. I was like, I don't know. Shouldn't I figure that out myself? Burns. Nice, Perthro. Soul Forgotten, we have spikes? No. Boom bing, boom bing. That was six years ago. Was it? Really? It's so crazy how the video game landscape has changed. Or it was just like every three years you just got a new console and like a, just so many new games they were just like cranking them out it was like bam 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 new console new console new console new games new games new games new games new games and now it's like i've been playing this game for 15 years it still gets updates out of hole there's an item that i didn't grab what was that item but i have the ability to grab that item now Maybe with that half battery, yeah. Cursed Eye, yeah, 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 we should do that. Basically, Sky... I mean, I'm thinking about, like, any of the... Like, League of Legends, for example. That's League of Legends, only been out for four years. Just the idea that a lot of these games, you just, you just keep playing them. You just... You just go. There's no League of Legends 2. There's not a significant change in the technology that would warrant such a thing either. We've completely fucking plateaued and no one wants to talk about it. Technology, as far as video game, like, it's still advancing. A little bit here and there, but... I don't think that's true. The other day I heard about a new... And insert whatever comment that's going to be some... So somebody's going to have something to say about, well, actually... 
pretty true though. Doesn't that trinket slow down your shot speed? Well, you have something against this bird? You have something against this bird, you sicko? Yeah, we'll go for it, sure. That's great. The controller design has kind of peaked now. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really gotten any major changes to it. Slow shot speed is good with Tech X. One thing that I really like, right? So we have like an Xbox controller, which I, I feel like probably most of us would just probably say this is peak design. There's some people out there that are really violently against that, but sure, go for it. Um, I really like it on the Steam Deck, how both of the, the joysticks are, are in the same spots. Like your thumb can just go like right here and I don't know. I don't know. Is it just me? 360 controller is still strong. VR kind of making strides. VR is not, VR hasn't done shit since it came out. I'm still playing Beat Saber. I'm not saying there's not new games, but like there's nothing like that great. I'm actually severely disappointed in VR. I've gone through like three iterations, maybe even four of different VRs, and I'm still playing the games I, I played in the first one that I bought. Why? Why am I doing that? Am I dumb? I'm I'm hurting this. Because I'm like, fuck it, they're gonna they're spending more money and they're playing the same thing. They're dumb. We don't have to advance anything or try. Super hot, still, still the best game. Super hot VR, and then they made a second super hot, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not gonna make it VR." Okay, that's personal. I expected to die as a fun VR game. I still have to play the second one. Skyrim VR is the only reason I got a VR headset. You know, I played that until I, A, did not like the the snap locomotion where you, like, move, and then you move. That just did not work for me, and so I tried locomotion, like, the real walking, and I felt ill within an hour. I was just a sick, out of this, a crazy sick. Could not handle how ill I felt. So I can't do that. So I stopped playing Skyrim VR. I even had a recording of it. Scrap the whole thing. You're weak. What are we talking about? I just came back on my head spinning. For me to know and you to find out. Nerd. You'll get used to it. Having good air conditioning and a fan blowing at you will ease it a bit. I'm not sure if it's something that I will get used to. That That's how bad it is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should try one of those motion sickness bracelets. Fishing games on VR. That'd be super cool, like, if we could get one that doesn't look like it was made for Nintendo fucking 64. Be awesome. Imagine VR Subnautica. That is a thing. It's actually one of the cooler VR games out there. Um, but... Unfortunately, it suffers from the same... Same thing. Where I, I get sick playing it. You should buy a treadmill. It's kind of cheap. Like a VR treadmill. First of all... Do you think that I have the room to put one of those things in my house? Never mind the price. Gotta buy a second house. Get an, another mortgage just to house this. My thalassophobia could never. What was that rune that we ignored? I almost feel like it would be worth it to full clear right now just to try to get a perthro. Increase my odds. the prize of a VR set, you can just buy a fishing kit and go fish IRL. Wait, wasn't it like 95% angel? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. 
Wasn't paying attention. Onwards. a crawl space under the pot. Interesting. Don't want that. What's your favorite transformation in this? Mine's Guppy. Yeah, Guppy I think is just like a definite win. Hard to argue with Gup. Probably can join though, it's just so strong. <laughs> Stop. Excuse me. Trust to good people. What's your favorite mod on the Binding of Isaac? Remember the Dark Bomb mod that made him into a butt? Where did that go? I'm a good person. That's exactly what a bad person would say. A good person would be like, I don't know. I don't think it's important to really say who's good and wrong. Because I think everybody tries their best. That's what a good person would say. Would he laugh on death mod? Car mod? Oh. Do I really need a, another buddy to shoot? Does he also shoot out four though? Yeah, he does. I could have them both, I would, but sadly, I cannot. The sun. Two. I cannot have that. Kissy long legs is cute. I'm gonna play Rogue Ganesia. You got me hooked. A mod that sucks that has the sonic worms and the bad items. Alright, I'm done with this. This room seems just foolish to me. Foolish. If it's giving me like some like really good item, I would totally consider going to get it. That was totally fine. Where was the thing? Here. Leviathan is also a good transformation. Yes, Greg the Egg. It's too bad that the creator of Greg the Egg just fell off the face of the earth. Cause like, I would just totally be in talks right now to like, buy copyright usage of Greg the Egg. Selling Greg the Egg merch. Was gonna work with somebody to make a Greg the Egg mod. We were gonna make a Junkin mod for Isaac, but it was gonna be Greg the Egg. And the more, um, food items that you got, Greg the Egg would get like a bacon spear and like a, you know, I don't know, like, a toast shield and then it would it would build up and it would get stronger and stronger the more the more health upgrades that you had sell jeff the egg merch jeff the egg oh there's a secret room up there we should get tell me that's not a really really good idea right you imagine a junkin in isaac 
And then it gives more usefulness to health upgrades. Like, you, you have those runs where you're like, yay, health, but, like, I need damage. I remember someone made sprites for the food gear. It's pinned in picks and chat. Here's down. down. Yikes. Sir Gregan. Make a Jill the pill mod that... Oh, fuck. I was reading chat. It's just all pills have a woman named Jill's face on it. My god, that's genius. You okay? Probably was better just to stick with Lazy Worm, but I like my little Claudi buddy. Body buddy, run! <laughs> Benny the Penny mod? Chat, give me a good game for one, uh, one more. I mean, it doesn't have to be one more, but another backseat challenge. Tom the Bomb. Peeny the Wally merch. Leechy Boy. I'm fine with it. Nah. Nah. No. Eh. Ooh. Fire rate unaffected, but damage up, baby. Baldur's Gate 3. Undertale. Hearthstone, Blamau. Binding of Isaac. It would just be like, TM Trainer again. Now do TM Trainer again. Now do TM Trainer again. Lol. Ooh, it's good. Alonky one. You know I beat that, right? Oblivion. Hades. You know I beat that, right? Guy, you can't name things I've already beaten. That defeats the purpose of a backseat challenge. The entire idea is that I go in blind. Cookie clicker. Knockout drops. These are fun. Jawbone. Have you played the Superland games? What is up, YouTube? We're jumping back in. No. Two's up. French down. Perfect. That is perfect. Untamed Sage is up. On a bit. He's doing what? To me with a carrot? I remember. I recall. I like Superland a lot. Pretty spicy items here. Do 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 What about that perth row? That's not a perth row. Balls. 1,050 bits from me, Catman. Thank you for that.
The knockback is serious. Jacob and Esau can drop a fur throw. Buck throw. Oh, nice. Does it work, though? Doesn't look like it works. Another box. A spider baby. This is a hundred percent punch at five luck. How is that not conjoined? Just one up her throw. We gotta think about games that are overwhelmingly positive, just not even on Steam. Jams, you mentioned Kingdom Hearts. It's gotta be a list of really, really good games. Like Shadow of the Colossus. Bloodborne. Oh, I don't even see that guy. I don't even see that guy. It snuck up on me. So sad. Don't spoil anything. Is this the, the first? Still the first run? This is the second run, I think, if I recall. God of War 2018 for sure. Didn't get our first row. Good. Mega Satan, we did that last time. I'm fine with not doing it. We beat it. We did the thing. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.